Over the last few months, a group of students have been hard at work down in the York Music Studio as they brought their music talents to life. The students, with the help of Mr. Gemco, have been able to produce the 10th York album project called Younger Than Tomorrow. Uh, the York album project is something I started in 2014-15 school year uh, as a grad project and the goal was just to create a pathway for my students to have a meaningful way to, to record the songs that they've written and release them into the world and it became this really amazing experience that is, is now an annual uh, collective of songwriters that challenge each other to continue to write better songs and continue to make the release a more professional experience. You know, this, this is the 10th album we're releasing, so this, this new one called Younger Than Tomorrow is the, the 10th record. One significant thing I think uh, that students need to know is that the York Album Project is an extracurricular activity. Anybody in the school who is a songwriter who wants to write and submit a song uh, is considered to be part of the project. Unlike the albums produced during COVID, this 10th album was produced in the York Music Studio. Alyssa Poli and Quinn Olson are two of the students that have a couple of their songs featured on the album. And no, just last year uh, we went into a studio to record, so now we're finally back in recording in the York Studios, which is interesting this year. And... Um, but it's cool. We've been we've both been like really. I mean, we have more control over like the mix and stuff now that we're doing it at York, and we're just more a part of the process of making the song. Whereas if you go to the studio, you kind of like record every instrument and then he puts it together and does all the stuff for you. So like she said, like the recording process is really personal because it's like, it's just, it's so much work, I guess. A recent York graduate, Anthony Poli, spoke of the foundations of the York Album Project, which led him to music success in Nashville. Honestly, without like the York Album Project, Mr. Gemco, and every single program I was involved in with him, I would not be making music. I just put out like a new song the other day and I would have probably been some like econ major at a state school without that, but I'm so glad that I was like seriously, all the help that I've gotten from people like in the community and just at Mr. Gemco himself and like the school, like the school programs, like all of that was incredible, so. Yeah, stream Younger Than Tomorrow, <laughs> May 23rd, well technically May 22nd at midnight. You have no idea how much work goes into this music. Like, literally, I sit for two periods of a day at the computer just like drowning in Logic Pro. <laughs> There's like freshmen that yeah. made the cut and that are amazing. Like Devin Smigo, Molly Carey, like you have to listen to it. Younger Than Tomorrow will be out May 23rd, available on all streaming platforms. For YTV News, I'm Catherine Casanoli, signing off.